When we are challenged as an individual, as a community, as a nation, that we need to look at what that challenge is and to learn from it. So I see it as a gift because I was able to see within myself the gaps, uh, even within myself, what I needed to change and hope as a prophecy that I understand is really about hands out reaching people's equity. And when I think about the role of people coming together, it's really outreaching, it's like this. People are grieving right now. There's a lot of grief that's happening and we have to learn how to grieve in a good way. So, you know, I speak to a stone <laughs> and I tell the stone like all, all of what I'm grieving and what is happening in my life and when I lay that stone in the water, that water cleans that stone. We call them grandfathers. And as that's cleaning that stone, that water is cleaning me from all of that that I might be carrying and holding. We can heal from this. We can walk through this together. But I can't do this for you and you can't do it for me. When you have these challenges, no matter what they are in life, and you walk through it, whatever that might be, and you arrive at new knowledge, there's the hope. There, there was a certain responsibility that I felt because I have lost friends to COVID-19 and some just recently. And in indigenous communities now um, with community spread, uh, I have fear that I'm gonna continue to lose friends and family. So when I think about my responsibility and role, if this is being offered that uh, I chose to participate so that I could be um, amongst those who are fighting this war. This, this challenge of COVID-19, um, wherever we're going with it, I, I can't say for sure, but I know that we're gonna continue to learn when we come together. I am getting vaccinated because I believe. And that's it. <laughs>